Hi, so in this video we are going to learn finding the cube roots of a given number. So let's first revise the definition of cube. The cube of a number is the product of number repeated thrice. That means if we want to find the cube of 2, I have to find the product of 2 as 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2, right? This will be the cube of 2. It is usually written as 2 to the power 3, right? And the value of cube of 2 will be 2 to the 4 and 4 to the 8. And if we talk about what it represents in geometry, it actually represents a cube whose each side is equal to the length of each edge is equal to 2. So this will be, this is actually the cube and the length of each edge of this cube will be 2 units. So 2 cube is nothing but the volume of the cube whose each edge is equal to 2 units. So anyway, this is the cube and this is just for the better understanding. But in this particular video, we are talking about the number part of cubes and cube roots. That was just to establish a correlation between the two things. So cube of 2 is 8. But if I want to find the cube of 3, I have to do 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3. That will be written as 3 to the power 3. And this will be equal to 3 3 is a 9, 9 3 is a 27. So cube of 3 will be 27 right and if I talk about the cube root of 8 from here cube root of 8 cube root will be this radical sign and this 3 in front of that radical sign and then 8 and the value of cube root of 8 will be 2 because when 2 multiplied by itself 3 times we get 8. So the cube of 2 is 8 and cube root of 8 is 2. Similarly from here the cube root of 27 this is the cube root of 27 is actually equal to 3 because when 3 gets multiplied by itself 3 times we get 27. So the cube of 3 is 27 and cube root of 27 is 3 right so these are again very simple examples here finding the cubes and cube root was easy because the numbers were smaller but when we have bigger number and we are asked to find the cube root of that big number the prime factorization method finding the prime factors and then grouping them comes very handy and it is very easy while finding the cube roots of bigger number so let's take one example and try to understand that so suppose if we want to find the cube root of 1728 so if this is the number and we want to find the cube root of this number that means the third root of this number how do we find it yes first thing we are going to do is we are going to find the prime factors of 1728 or 1728 and to find that I will do this and then I'll find the prime factors so this is an even number and how do we find the prime factors? We will think about the smallest prime number which can divide this. So since 1728 is an even number, so it will be divisible by 2, right? 2 8s are 16, 2 6s are 12, 2 4s are 8. And again, we have got an even number. So this will also be divisible by 2, 2 4s are 8, 2 3s are 6, and 2 2s are 4. And again, we have an even number so it will be divisible by 2, 2 2's are 4, 2 1's are 2, 2 6's are 12 and this will also be divisible by 2, 2 1's are 2, 0, 2 8's are 16 right, 2 1's are 2 and then if we note down 1, 1 is not divisible by 2 because it is smaller than 2 so I have to note down 6 and before noting down 6 I have to put a 0 over here right Yes, so when 216 gets divided by 2, we will get 108 as quotient. And this 108 is also an even number, so it will be divisible by 2. 2 5s are 10, 2 4s are 8, 
then this will again be divisible by 2, 2 twos are 4, 2 sevens are 14 and now we have 27 which is an odd number so it will not be divisible by 2 and now we have to check if it is divisible by 3 so a number is divisible by 3 when the sum of its digits is divisible by 3 so 2 plus 7 is 9 and 9 is divisible by 3 so 3 9 is at 27 and 9 is also divisible by 3 3 3 is at 9 and 3 is also divisible by 3, 3 ones are 3, right? So the factors of 1728 is 2 multiplied by 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 2, 6 times multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3, 3 times. So there are 6 repetitions of 2 and 3 repetitions of 3, right? So how to find the cube root? To find the cube root, we have to make a group of three, three factors each and all the factors or all the numbers in each group should be same, right? Why? Because cube of a number is the multiplication of that number to itself when the number is repeated three times. So to find the cube root, we have to do the reverse process. So I'm making group of three each, right? So the cube root of 1728 will be equal to two multiplied by two multiplied by three. That is two twos are four, four threes are 12, right? And to cross check, let's multiply 12 to itself three times and see what we get 12 12 is 144 so this can be written as 144 multiplied by 12 this will be equal to 12 fours are 48 if i note down 8 i'll have 4 as carry forward and 12 fours are again 48 48 plus 4 is 52 so 2 will be noted down here and 5 will be the carried forward now 12 ones are 12 plus 5 is 17 right so we have got this number. So 12 is the cube root of 1728, right? Otherwise also we have got 12 as the cube root. And if we see these factors carefully, this can actually be written as 1, 2 from here, 1, 2 from here and 1, 3 from here. So 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3, right? And this multiplied by 1, 2 from here, 1, 2 from here and 1, 3 from here. So 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3, right? And this multiplied by this 2 and this 2 and this 3. So 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3. So in this way we can write 1728 as 3 repetition of the same set of factors, right? So when we find the cube root, we have to take only the one set of factors. So this will be 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 3, that is 12, right? So here also we got the cube root as 12. And now you can understand why we are grouping the factors in 3 each. So this is one more use of prime factorization. Here we have used prime factorization to find the cube root of any given number. And while factorizing the number, you should always start from the smallest possible prime number. Never use any composite number over here. Never divide the number by any composite number. If you do that, you may make mistakes in finding the result. Right? So never use any composite number as divisor. And after this, we are going to learn about LCM and HCF. So bye-bye till then.